In the next seven minutes, I will try copying a YouTube channel without using any paid tool. I spent 24 hours finding the perfect niche. Then I found this channel. They currently have over 50,000 subscribers and they've only posted 30 videos. The crazy thing is that this channel was created just three months ago and their most popular video has gotten over 400,000 views. I have stolen their strategy and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create a channel like this with free AI tools. I repeat, free AI tools. All you just need to do is watch this video to the end, don't skip any parts, and by the end of the video, you're gonna have the exact blueprints this person is using to run this channel. As you can see, the owner of this channel also started another channel two months ago, and they've already uploaded 13 videos on this channel. They have been able to gather over 13,000 subscribers. This is a sign that this niche is actually a gold mine for anybody who's going to take advantage of it. You know what? Let's stop yapping and let's start learning. The first step in creating a YouTube channel like this is to come up with the idea. You first of all need to go to your competitor's channel, look at what is already proven to work, and to do that, what you just need to do is click on the most popular video here. And then you're going to see videos that have been going viral lately and how many views those videos have gotten. Now this is going to give you a heads up on which topic people are really interested in. So that is why, for the sake of you guys that are going to be taking this tutorial very seriously, I've already created a GPT chat for you. All you just need to do is check the link in the video description below. It's going to bring you to Viral Story Crafter. As you can see, it was generated by me. So the first thing you want to do is click on Give Me 10 Video Ideas That Will Go Viral Like Fallout Raccoon. That's the channel we are modeling from. I used data from the channel we are modeling from to create this GPT, so it's going to give you very good ideas that can go viral. So as you can see now, ChatGPT is now giving us 10 viral video ideas like Fallout Raccoon. All right, so you can see the ideas are very good ones, and they are similar to the ones that have gone viral on this channel. Now what you just need to do is pick one of the video ideas just like this. Let's say I want to make a video about the six urban structures that become insane fortresses during riots. What you just need to do is copy the idea, then come down and ask GPT to write you a script on this idea, then paste the idea and click on Generate. Don't worry guys, it's not going to write you the normal garbage AI script because I've already trained the model to also understand how to write you scripts similar to Fallout Raccoon that are going to go viral. Now that ChatGPT is done writing your script, you can either ask it to write the script in paragraph form, which is the best because you can easily generate your voiceover when it's in paragraph, right? So now that we have our script, the next thing we wanna do now is to generate the voiceover. Copy your entire script from ChatGPT. To generate your voiceover, we are going to be using Google AI Studio. It's free and you can generate as much voiceover as you want. When you open Google AI Studio, the first thing you wanna do is click on single speaker audio on that module here. And then immediately you first come down to voiceover and change the voiceover to your preferred one. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna be going with anyone. So choose the one you like and then next, paste your script here under text and click on run. Give the AI some time and it's going to generate you your voiceover. The good thing about Google AI Studio is that it actually generates voiceover that feels like it was recorded by a human. So now that you have your voiceover, click on these three dots over here to download it to your PC. The next thing we wanna do now is to generate prompts for our visuals. And to make this easy for you guys, again, I've already created a GPT that you just need to paste your script into and it's going to give you prompts that you can use, ChatGPT or any other free AI tools to generate your visuals. So come here and click on Leo AI Prompt Illustrator. You don't need to do anything. All you just need to do is paste your script paragraph by paragraph here, and I've already trained the AI to understand exactly what it's going to do next, which is to generate prompts to create images in a cartoon slash animated illustration in a poster-apocalypse cartoon style, just like the one that this channel is using, because I've basically trained this model from this channel, so you don't need to stress. Now, the reason why I said you should paste paragraph by paragraph is that I already trained the model to give nine scene prompts for each paragraph. Now that we have the prompt, the next step is to generate the images, right? You can use any AI tool of your choice, but I decided to use ChatGPT for this tutorial. It's actually very simple, right? So the next step now is to put the video together using CapCut or any other preferred editing software. Open CapCut and click on Import. Select your voiceover and all the images you've generated into CapCut. 
Now, the first thing you want to do is drag the voiceover into the timeline just like this. Then, after that, you want to start aligning the images into the timeline one by one, but you need to listen to the voiceover and make sure you arrange the images according to the voiceover. That is why I numbered my images so it's going to be easier for me to arrange them. So, all you just need to do is drag all of them into the timeline just like this. It's now time for us to make the video more interesting to watch. And to do that, the first thing we are going to do is to add a filter. Click on the filter icon over here, then select Clear 2, which is this one. Drag it into the timeline and make sure you extend it so it can cover the entire timeline just like this. Now, come down to Filter Parameters here and reduce the intensity to about 39. Okay, so after that, the next thing we need to add is effects. So, click on the effect icon over here and look for this one called By the Fireplace. This particular one because this is the one the channel we are modeling from is using. So, we are going to be using it. So, drag it into the timeline just like this and make sure you extend it to cover the entire timeline. After that, reduce the speed to about 2 here, and then stickers to about 64%, and then the filter reduce it to 40% so it looks blue a little bit, just like this, and you're done. What you just need to do now is add your background music. And to do that, basically, you need to click on audio over here and search for any sound that best fits your preference. And secondly, you can also get background music from YouTube Audio Library, which is one of the safest ways, and it's also free, so just choose the one that is better for you. Drag the background music into the timeline and make sure you reduce the volume so it doesn't overpower the main voiceover. Alright, so now we are done editing this video. The next thing we need to do now is to export the video and upload it to your YouTube channel. Post at least one video every week to start seeing some significant results. Let me show you guys what we have been able to create so far. When riots begin, they don't creep in slowly like a storm on the horizon. They explode instantly and violently like a match hitting dry fuel. One rumor, one shove in a crowd, one spark of panic, and suddenly the streets transform into something unrecognizable. Noise, fire, movement, fear, everything hits at once. And in that moment, most people make the same fatal mistake. They run toward the wrong places. You don't rise to the level of your optimism in these situations. You sink to the level of your position. Survival isn't about bravery, it's about geography. That's why today, I'm showing you the six urban structures that instantly become fortresses during riots, not because they were built for survival, but because engineers accidentally made them the safest places in the city while everyone else is running in the wrong direction. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.